words in Jeremiah 29 and 14 we just sang it prophetically earlier hallelujah where he said these words if you find me I'll turn your captivity somebody shout if I find him if I get to where he is needs get met it's amazing that even modern Pentecost that is so lukewarm all praying is to them is an opening of a service or a calling of names praying for needs come on and that is prayer but that ain't seeking the Lord a lot of modern churches today that are Pentecostal in name only meet together and they know how to have prayer meeting but they don't know how to have a seeking meeting because a prayer meeting, I start off praying, hallelujah, for God to do things, and before it's over with, it'll turn into a prophecy meeting. You don't, you don't believe me? People will start praying, and after a while, everybody's prophesying over everybody. And they'll spend more time prophesying to each other than they do praying. Come on, somebody. Because our flesh is more desirous, amen, concerning our needs. We want a God to meet our needs. Come on, somebody. Jesus said in John 4 and 4, I must needs go through Samaria. Somebody shout, have you ever stopped to think he has a need? He has a need. Somebody say that. Jesus, the need meter, also has a need that needs to be met. I don't know if you've ever stopped to think that God has one need. He told Martha in Luke 10, 38 through 42, Martha was so cumbered, that means she's dragging it all around. You ever met anybody come to church like that? Don't, don't bother looking at anybody. Come on, somebody. Dragging it around, lost a shout, don't know if they're ever going to get out, got a bout with the gout. Come on, somebody. Too stout. Anybody here, Holy Ghost, ready to get out? Praise God. Hey, man, they're just dragging it all around. And she's cumbered about much labor and much work. And the work and labor that she's so cumbered about and so heavy about is the work of the Lord. Because she's in the kitchen. She's in there cooking. Somebody shout, she's cooking for Jesus. She's so busy. Busy could stand for bound under Satan's yoke. Busy. Preachers love to talk about are you busy when they're talking about successfulness. Come on, somebody. But busy can be a devil. And it can be a devil that leads you to even get so overcharged and overweighted even doing a work for the Lord. Because it's one thing to get tired from doing the work of the Lord because we all do. But when you get tired of the work of the Lord, that's danger. Somebody shout, it's okay to get tired doing the work of the Lord. But woe unto us when we get tired of the work of the Lord. That is a warning sign, and I can tell you where it comes from, and that's where I'm preaching right now. I'm not preaching anything planned, anything I knew I'd be preaching. I just hear the Holy Ghost, and that's all preaching is, is Matthew 10, 37. What you hear in your ear, preach on the rooftop. We don't get uh, up words. They come down, and I hear it coming down, and I'm, I'm just standing up on the roof uh, announcing what Holy Ghost is saying. So in Luke chapter 10, 38 through 42, here she is. Uh, Martha's so cumbered about doing that much serving, that work that God has called her to do. She's in the kitchen. She's cooking for the Lord. And here Mary, her younger sister, is sitting at the feet of Jesus receiving his word. And Martha gets irritated by Mary. Somebody shout, Mary is irritate Martha's. If your name's Mary or Martha, I'm not talking about you. I'm where I could be. The shoe fits, take it off her own holy ground. Come on, somebody. Or if the name fits, come on. Martha, the older sister, was busy working, laboring for the Lord, but she got so caught up doing a work for the Lord that she was missing the Lord of the work. That's busyness. Somebody said, that's too busy. That meant what she was doing in the kitchen was her idol. What she was doing for the Lord had become her idol had become her lowercase God. Her ministry, somebody shout, your ministry can get to that place where it becomes 
the idol. What you're doing for the Lord. Because if you're trying to minister for the Lord, but you never minister to the Lord, come on somebody. That's when you'll get overweighted. Look at your neighbor say, it's time to lose weight. That's when you get too heavy laden. Come on, somebody. Because the Bible said in Matthew 11 and 28, Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Notice he said, come unto me. Hallelujah. If you're weary, if you're at the point of breaking and wanting to quit and give up and up. Somebody shout, that ain't time to stay at the house. That ain't time to sit down and watch a rerun of gun smoking bonanza. That's a time, amen, to call out unto the Lord and get in his presence. Sure ain't time to stay at the house when revival's going on. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If you can help it, hear, hear the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout, that's a time to run to his presence. Run there. Praise God. He said, come to me. He said, and I'll give you rest. Why? 